Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how to create a wet ground plane in Blender. Now if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me using this effect in a lot of my videos. It looks very good and at the same time it's very easy to create. And if you are not following me on Instagram, then you might do it because I post a lot of different videos that you can watch and you can ask for a particular tutorial. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into Blender and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in Blender. So as the ritual say, you have to delete the default cube. So select it, press X, then delete it. Now we are going to add a plane. So press Shift A, Mesh under the plane. Let's select it. Now let's scale this up so you can press S then 8 so that it will scale this up by 8 units. Now you can also press Ctrl A to apply the scale. So we have our ground plane and we are going to add some texture to this. But before that let me go into the material preview mode. So you can just simply click over here and now you can just simply drag this up. And let me just quickly change this to shader editor. Now make sure your plane is selected. And after that you can click on this new material and just quickly rename this to floor or ground whatever you want now we have our principal bstf and the material output so we are going to first change the base color to something darker so let's go with something like this or you can make it completely black it's totally up to you now you can press shift a and let's search for noise texture and again press shift a and let's search for color ramp so we are going to add the noise texture over here and using the color ramp we can control its intensity on the roughness so first let me just connect the factor with this factor and this color will go into the roughness so right away you can see that we have this kind of look and if i just simply select these endpoints and just move them closer you will notice that we are able to see the reflective surface so it looks like the water puddles and you can do one more thing you can just simply select the white portion and just simply drag it to the left side to reverse these and you can make them closer just like this so i think this is looking good now you can tweak this further by simply changing few of the settings in the noise texture node so you can just simply scale it up and you can see that now we have more of the water area or you can just simply scale this down and you can see that now we have big chunks of these so it's completely up to you so i think yeah, around here it looks good and you can just simply play around with these so i think this is looking fine now you will notice that the edges are very smooth so you can add more details to this by simply increasing the detail slider just put it to 16 which is the max value so right away you can see that now our area looks more realistic and we have these really nice detailed edges so yeah i think this is looking fine and if you want to play around with the roughness you can do that it's completely up to you and distortion you can just leave it to zero and if you want to add more texture to this so let me just quickly add a bump node so it's shift a and search for bump and just simply drag it over here now if you want you can again import the noise texture node and the color ramp node or you can just simply select this then press shift d and it will create a duplicate copy of it and just place it over here now you can do the same thing with the noise texture but i'm going to use this one only so just simply plug in into the factor and this color will go into the height and this normal will go into the normal so now you can see that we have this really harsh kind of look so let me just quickly inverse these something like this and you can also check the invert option so now you can see that we have this really nice crown texture and if you want you can move the slider away so now you can see that we have this crown texture and we have these water puddles now if you want you can add some lighting to this so let me just go into the rendered view 
and now I'm going to change this and add screen space reflection just make sure to on this box you can also add some bloom and now I'm going to add a light to this so you can press shift a then under light let me just quickly add an area light then press GZ and let me just move it up as to scale this up and I can just simply place it somewhere around here then rotate it along the Y axis just like this so let me just quickly select the light and I'm going to increase its power to 1000 so right away you can see that now it's really bright and you can select the world tab and just change the background color to black now if you want you can also click on this icon to disable all the overlays so that you can focus on this so you can see that it looks very amazing and if you want to scale this up you can select this and just scale this up so now you have a really nice wattle puddle ground so you can play around with these settings if you don't want the bump you can just simply disable this and you will have this kind of look but I think it adds more texture to this so this is how you can create this wet ground look and you can use it for different purposes so I hope you learned something from this video and if you have any queries or question you can ask in the comments below also if you want to see a tutorial on any particular topic then you can mention in the comments as well so with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one